Hi, I'm Joe Holcroft, and I'm here with my line mate, freshman Christy Vetter. And Vetter, why'd you come to Penn State? Um, I came to Penn State because it has a great academic reputation as long as a phenomenal athletic reputation. And uh, when I came to visit, I knew quite a few Minnesota girls, and uh, they introduced me to some other girls on the team, and I really thought that they were girls with great character. So I wanted to play with girls like that. And what's your favorite part of Pugula? Shooting him because I love to shoot pucks. I've been shooting pucks all the time since I was little. What other sports did you play in high school? Um, in high school, I was a four-sport athlete. I um, played hockey, obviously. I was in Nordic skiing my senior winter instead of playing hockey for the high school team. Um, I was on the golf team, and I ran cross country. Wow. And I heard you have a record on the golf team. What's your record? Uh, well, my lowest score was a 69. I played it at the Wilds my junior year of high school, and um, I guess I hold the high school record for now. All right, and speaking of high school, you played in the longest Minnesota high school game ever and ended up being on the losing side of that, but Amy and Laura, who are also on the team, were on the winning side of that, so uh, what was that like? Uh, well, Hannah was also on the other team, uh, our goalie. She was on the bench for that game. Um, that was awful. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, I was on the first line, so I was out every other shift. And um, once it got towards the second and third overtime, it ended up being my line was on the ice until we couldn't skate anymore. And the second line was on the ice until they couldn't skate anymore. And then they'd try to throw in the third line once in a while. Um, and our fourth line, lucky them got to enjoy the view, which, I mean, it's not fun sitting there and watching, but they weren't as dead as we were. Um, so it was really intense. Uh, I dislocated my thumb during, uh, heck, I don't even know what period it was. Um, and so I was removed from the ice, and they wanted me to stop the game. So I went into the tunnel, had them pop it back in, taped it up, and I finished the game. No way, that's awesome. Uh, I think the worst part about that game, though, was during the third period for the second year in a row. Um, right before we had to go into our first overtime, I had a one-timer in front of the net that went over about yay much, both years in a row. So I lost it for our team two years in a row to go to the finals. How many overtimes was it? Um, it was a nine-period game, so six overtimes. Um, and it ended around 1.15 in the morning. And our goal that should have not been a goal that Amy scored on us, um, the people who were supposed to do the reviews for it had left at 11 o'clock. So <laughs> um, we sent up the goal for review because it deflected off of Amy's chest into the net, and it looked like she propelled it forward. So it, was, it went up to the upstairs people to check it out, and no one was there So because they left. <laughs> so <laughs> they just said, <Yeah>. goal. <laughs> So, any still hard feelings towards Amy and Laura? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I grew up playing with them, so I can't really be mad at them. But, um, immediately after the game, I wasn't too happy. But, you know, you deal with it. <laughs> How has playing for the U.S. National U18 hockey team prepared you for Penn State? Um, honestly, I don't think it has fully prepared me for Penn State. Just because, um, with the under-18 national team, it was completely competitive all the time. Um, no one was, I mean, you're friends, but you're not best friends. You're competing against them constantly, and you want to keep that slot where, like, right after our first week of training, you got a bunch of cuts. So I couldn't even be best friends with some of those girls. Um, and here, we're all friends. We're all family, pretty much. We get along so well. And so it's a completely different environment knowing that, like, while I am competitive with them, I'm still, I mean, I'm going to be with you guys for a while. So it's not like I can use my like full competitive drive just because like I like you guys. And not saying that I don't like those girls on the team. I get along with them very well and I'm still friends with a bunch of them. But it's a completely different environment trying to compete at that high of caliber um, level knowing that if I don't do great in one game, I'm not playing the next day. We're here, it's Obviously, it's at the same level where I have to do well to keep my position um, and where I want to be. But at the same time, like I can rely more on you guys and like uh, keeping me, um, I guess, down to earth, knowing that like I can't get a big head. Um, I can rely on my teammates to uh, pump me up if I'm down instead of where there is like they kind of 
it's not like they appreciate it when you're having a bad time, but they know that they get to slide in a spot, so it's different. What's your favorite part about Penn State other than Pubula? Um, my favorite part is probably the food, just because I don't stop eating, ever. Alright, this has been an interview with Christy Vetter. I'm Jill Holcroft, signing off.